So I remember that morning. It was a very special morning. And of course, the Schaefer family had asked me to come and taste with them. And I thought, yes. And then I thought, ah, me, oh no. Um, because I knew how special this was. And, and even though I'd been to, to Schaefer many times before, I had never come and tasted, obviously, the entire range of Hillside Select. For that matter, as Doug told me, he had never done that, and Elias had never done that, and John had never done that, at least not all together in the same room. So it was an incredible honor to be asked to do that, and um, you know, it was thrilling. There's something to be said for tasting over and over again a single estate, to kind of learn how a wine can tell the story of itself, its place, its place in time, and how a wine can tell the story of its owners as well. I love the wines of the late and mid 90s. And it does seem that Hillside became somewhat unfettered by winemaking at that point. But the wines have a beautiful personality, and those are neither old wines exactly, but of course neither are they young wines, so they're fascinating to taste because they're right in mid-prance. So in the end, there we are after 25 wines, which was an, a real exercise in hedonism for sure, as well as, as well as intellect. But I realize that what I'm looking forward to more than ever is the next 10 years of Hillside. It's a brilliant wine and it has a brilliant future. It will go on to, to continue to produce these powerful wines of elegance and, and God, you know, who knows, maybe, maybe some of the very best hillsides are yet to come.